there's a Yoruba proverb that says, which means 20 children can't play for 20 years. You know, when I was younger, I don't believe in that proverb because I was like, why can't they play for 20 years if they love each other? And if there's peace among them, why can't they play for 20 years? But when I began to grow, the proverb started coming to pass intentionally and non-intentionally because I've lost some of my friends to death and some have outgrown me and I've outgrown some too. You know, I've made friends while growing up and I stopped talking to them. Not because I don't want to, but under some circumstances, we just stopped talking. And there are some friends that I've had since I was a little girl that will still talk to you, dates, and some that I've lost. So I decided to believe that, yes, 20 children can't play for 20 years. I know I act like I don't want it. I like I don't want it. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, oh. hi David and Korede. We went for a walk. Abi, we are going for a walk. So we had to rest, Abi. We are resting already because I'm tired. The thing is, we don't even have destination. We are just going, and it's David. David, of course, David is just shouting, "Let's go, let's go, let's go." Now we are here. I don't know how I'll do it. I don't want more than anything. Between Ork and Spider Man. Spider Man? Who is more powerful? Ork. Ow. Ork is strong. Stronger. I and Super. why? You have to Sometimes. Why Ork? Ork is stronger than Spider Man. Ow. No, what? he's a light. Ork, there is he's a muscle. See? But let me tell you the advantage and disadvantages hey, of their power. Hey, is inside the body. The, my father. Oh, they stop playing rough. Between these two, I feel that both of them, they have, they have their own power of their own. Yeah, so you can't power. compare the both of them. <laughs> you know, right? Sometimes my man has to be talk. No. Yes. Did, did they make them together? Uh, yeah. Very well. They are not even friends. Yeah, they are not friends. In cartoon, can you imagine? Just... I don't even know they made them together. But what I want to make you understand is that if orc can, what can orc fly? Yeah, uh, he, he can, can only jump. jump. Okay. Aya. Aya, 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 Yes. You See, can I can't do this thing. Ah. And somebody just fly. fly away. Okay, so that means they have different powers of their own. Yeah. Because there are some things that Spider Man can do that yes. Ork cannot do. And yes. there are some things Ork can do that Spider Man cannot do. Yes. So we actually just got back from our walk, David, Corridia, and I. So I just decided to end this video on a side note that normalize letting go of people. And for me to have thought about this, I've thought about my life, I've thought about the friends that I've lost. You know, like everybody has a season in their life that they want someone to be in their life and eventually they would want you not to be in their life anymore i remember some of the people that i, I should call them my friends because there are some people in my life then my acquaintances my friends that it's got to a stage they, they started ignoring me and i used to take it as an offense offense sorry offense. i used to take it as an, as an offense until it's got to, I got to a stage in my life to that there are some people that I used to talk to that I don't want to talk to anymore that and I feel okay and I, I started realizing that it is not their fault for letting for letting go of me or for letting go for not wanting to talk to me anymore so I just feel okay why don't we normalize letting go of people why don't we just don't take it to heart when people don't want to be in our lives anymore or people don't want us to be in their lives anymore so Actually, it is not a bad thing. Like I used to think, uh, think of those people as a bad people, but now I think everybody has their choices. Like everybody has ev anything they want. They have the English is not English. Like they have the reasons why they don't want people to be in their life anymore. So everybody has the decision to make with their life. It is their life. It's nobody's life. Your life is your life. Okay, my life is for God actually. But you know, God gave us the um, ability to like free will to do anything we want to do. And it is funny, while I was thinking about this, I was thinking about this video idea. I came across Kai Foster's um Instagram post. I'm going to be putting the notes one of these places. So she was talking about the seasons in her life that the people she thought she could not do without that 
they like you know i'm going to put this stuff so you, are, you can read it and understand what i'm trying to say but you can call me toxic if you want to i have eight things you can do to cut people off so let's get into the eight tips of how to cut people off the first one is don't tell them they are being cut off just ignore them and they will eventually get the hint that they are being cut off because when you tell them that they are being cut off that will cause drama so don't, you don't have to tell them don't let them know you are cutting them off just ignore them and they will get the hint that you are cutting them. second tip is delete their contacts delete their picture delete their videos anything that's going to make you think about them or remember them delete it like delete you guys memory don't don't be thinking delete your snaps together because Snapchat can be very nice to you and they will give you memories of the people you, you've had if you people had snaps together delete anything that might you of them contact pictures videos the yes. third one is if they try to contact you through another person let's say you blocked them or you deleted their contact or you don't have anything to do with them and they know that you cut them off if they are trying to get in touch with you through another person don't even respond don't explain to them why you did it don't answer don't even see you don't have to Say anything to them just don't respond that's the third tip don't respond if they're trying to get back to you to someone else don't respond the fourth tip is after you cut them off don't talk about them don't you don't have to gossip about them you don't have to talk about them to someone else just go on with your life don't talk about them the fifth tip is don't, you don't have to give them any explanation on why they are being cut off you don't have to explain to someone why you don't want to talk to them again it is not necessary like it's wasting of time it's wasting of energy because i'm not trying to say you should do it in a very toxic way or in a bad way you don't have to give them explanation i don't think it is a crime for no one wanting to explain yourself to because i noticed that we are now living in the era of giving expense like you have to give reasons for everything you do just because of validation like you don't want them to be in your life again it is your life so you don't have to be worried about them thinking bad about you because who cares eventually nobody if someone is not good for you you can just cut them off you don't need to explain to them next tip is if they're talking about you to someone and you heard about it be the bigger person i know we always say me bigger person more be the bigger person and don't even don't respond because they are trying to get your attention back and when you get when they get the attention back that means they know that they know your big points so don't even respond when you even if it's to the person they are talking about you to don't the seventh tip is if you guys have mutual friend and the friend is more obsessed or is into the for the other person than you he is to you or she is to you I think you need to end something with the mutual friends because it's going to be very hard for you to concentrate if you are still friends with the mutual friends. The last but not the least, whose leg is this? Your leg is in my video. <laughs> so the last tip, which is the eighth, the eighth tip, is if you have anything that you guys both share, you can give it out. Yes, because it's going to help you forget them faster. And trust me, I'm not saying this thing because I want you guys to hate your friend or stop being friends with people. But if you have anything that you know that, okay, well, I don't, I'm, the more I see this thing, the more I think about this person, you can just give it out. You can just dash it out, sell it. If it's something that is sellable, you can sell it. If it's something you can give out to people, you can give it out. So those are the eight tips that I have about or on cutting people off and which is going to help you honestly like deep down i'm feeling like a bad person for sharing this kind of video but that is i'll be too pussy and but that is the truth like that is only the help i can give you silver and gold i have none but what i have i've given so bye guys bye. see you in my oh, God. So we'll see you guys guys in my next video. And pro I promise you these guys are not going to be in my video. They're not going to be here to distract you. Okay? So thank you. Peace. All to you.